Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm doing something a little bit different, but something I've wanted to do for a while and I wanted to wait until the weather got like a little bit cosier to film it. So this week I am filming my candle collection. I'm a little bit of a candle hoarder, um, especially when you consider that I still live with my parents so I've only got the one room to put the candles in. Um, it's not like I've got like an entire house or flat that I can spread them out in. So when you consider that I do only have the one room, there's definitely too many candles but I love them I'm obsessed with candles Um, I've got a candle drawer which people think is hilarious Um, but yeah I've got them all out so that I can go through them all with you guys so the reason that I'm filming this now is one because it is officially autumn two it's now October so I can kind of get away with the weather being a little bit cozier so I can sit down and film this because a lot of my candles are like autumn winter scents so I thought it would need to be a little bit cosier and three I'm going to New York in a few weeks and you can guarantee that every single day I will be calling into Bath and Body Works which means that my candle collection is going to grow quite a lot um so I thought I'd sit down and do this now while I've got it all as it is um I'm also going to home sense this afternoon so I probably have to do another one of these in a few weeks so I do apologize <laughs> So what I've done with my candles is I've got them all out and I've kind of separated them into seasons. So I've done autumn and winter and spring and summer. Now, like most people, autumn and winter scents are by far my favourite. Um, I love the coziness of them, the fact that you've got all like the Christmas scents in there, you've got like pumpkin scents. I don't know, I just absolutely love them. So I do have more autumn winter scents than I do spring and summer, but I've still got like a box that's got quite a few in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through these ones here, which are my spring and summer ones, to kind of get them out of the way. Um, they're all still lovely candles, but, you know, just to get these ones out of the way so I can proper go in on my autumn and winter candles. So I'll start off with all my ones from one specific brand, um, which is Lily Flame Candles. Um, now, you might have seen these. I think they sell them in quite a lot of garden centres. They're, so they're little tins. They've got, like, the names on the front. And inside... The candles are really pretty they've got like sticky outy bits i have got one that i haven't burnt yet so i will show that one um but we love lily flame in this house it's one of you know our favorite brands the candles are quite small these retail generally about eight eight or nine pounds i think um but they're really really nice they burn really nicely they smell amazing and when we first started buying these it was like a little independent company so we do try and still buy them when we you know when we see them out and about and um, so we absolutely love them so i've got one two three I've got four here um, and we've got quite a few more downstairs as well but they're like the family candles these are specifically mine um so this one is blush so it's the first kiss of the night um and what sense does it have in it but the only thing with these candles is it doesn't tell you like what scents are in them you kind of got to go for it yourself i guess so i'm sure i've got one that had some on oh i don't know um but anyway absolutely gorgeous as you can see i've burnt this one at quite a lot it's just nice it's bright i think it's a really nice transition one from when you're going from winter into spring so i like to get this out in kind of march time um so yeah really like this it's like a bit floral and nice and clean then got another firm favorite which is fairy dust um this one is like just such a clean scent so this one says invisible and true on it and it, that's what it is it's like it's really sweet but it smells a little bit like um sweets like refresher type things i guess it's just really really nice it's a really nice one to burn i like burning this in spring when i'm having like a spring clean because it just makes everything smell like clean and crisp and just really nice this is one that i haven't burnt yet i bought it last winter i think i bought it just before christmas um and i actually forgot that i had it until i got all my candles out this is a problem with having a drawer you lose them so this one because i haven't burnt i can show you what it looks like inside if i can get the lid off Oh my god i got this lid off like not long ago there we go so inside this is what it looks like so you've got like the wick and then on the top it's got these little kind of scented things and i really like this because it smells like it smells a bit like sweets like rhubarb and custard type sweets but not properly it's weird anyway i really like it this one doesn't actually have like a scent payoff like tagline or anything um but this one's called dolly rocker um cute pink and like red packaging and it's just really nice it's a sweet scent i like sweet scents um so i really like this one and then i've got a little one which my mum gave me these come in like a set of three i think um and my mum doesn't like this one so she just gave it to me and it's the mango fadango um hot 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 so it smells like mangoes 
it's really nice it's orange it just smells like fruit so i really like burning this one in summer just because it's a really nice fruity scent it makes you feel like you're on holiday and it's just really nice and like i said they just all burn really really nicely so that's all i've got from lily flame as i said we've got a few more downstairs and i've got a few christmasy ones from lily flame downstairs but i've got so many of my own that i don't have any upstairs kind of to use in my room i then got one which is actually from new look i'm not too sure if they still do this anymore i got this as a present last year i think it was um, and i've burnt like halfway and it's wild raspberry in vanilla um in this little pink kind of tub it's really nice it smells like raspberry and vanilla it's a really nice one to burn um in summer it's nice and like warming because of the vanilla but still summery because of the raspberry um and it's really really nice this is the first and only candle i've ever had from new look um and i'm really impressed with it i really really like it I've just never really seen any others to buy. But it did come in like a big fancy gift box and everything, so it's nice. And then the last one that I've got spring summer wise that I have actually burnt is um, this one, which is um, Eternal Jasmine from Siren Fine Fragrances. So it's this. Um, it's in this really nice like frosted pot. The candle itself is white, so you can like see how much I've burnt there. Um, and it's got like gold rimming on and stuff. And I really, really like this for spring. Um, so it's crisp floral and aromatic and it just smells like that crisp floral and just really nice it's the jasmine in it that i really like for spring um that's why i've burnt like half of it i like to switch between candles um, but this is really nice i got this from tk maxx like many of my candles so i believe this is an american brand could be wrong but that's what i think it is um and i picked this up in tk maxx i think it was less than five pounds and I really, really like it. I've seen a couple more from this brand as well, including this particular fragrance in a smaller size um, in both TK Maxx and also Marshalls in America, which is what makes me believe it's an American brand um, because I have seen this in like outlet stores in America as well. Um, so yeah, really, really like this one. I feel like it's kind of worth me pointing out as well that I am not going to be able to link the majority of these candles in like the down bar because I'd say a good like, 60 70 percent are from tk maxx which means that you can't really find them online anymore because they're either um end of like end of series it's not end of series what well, end of line um or like end of season so you can't find them online but i'll try i'll try and link as many as i can um but yeah just so that you're aware i can't link them all and then my very last one which is in my spring and summer collection is a yankee candle one um so this is um yankee candle pink sands um with pure natural extracts i don't think it says like what it's supposed to smell like but it's in this pink tub i got this for my birthday um, my friend bought it for me and said that she nearly ended up keeping it herself because it smells really good and oh it really does it smells like holidays there's something in it that's quite sweet because when i just smell it then it like it makes my mouth water a little bit so there's something in it that's kind of edible to it but it just smells so good it smells like summer in a candle i don't get what pink sands is supposed to smell like so i don't get the name um but it's really nice really summery and um, it's crisp but with like a softer edge to it and i really really like it i just haven't burnt this one i feel like i've not been in my room to burn candles that much this summer so i'm going to save this for next year and i'll probably burn it all out within like a week or something silly because i do really really like this now the one that i wanted to mention with spring and summer but it's not really a spring and summer candle and it's not really one in a way it's not one worth mentioning because i don't know what it smells like but it's so cute that i just kind of have to this bit of hair is driving me crazy there we go so it's this one which my um best friend bought me as like a little pick-me-up present and it's shaped like a shell i love it um if you know me and if you've watched quite a few of my videos you'll know that i love like mermaids anything like that and this is a candle which is shaped like a shell it's lilac um and it's just super super cute i think she got this from urban outfitters um and it's just really really nice i probably won't burn it it'll probably be more of like a decorative candle um when i eventually get like my new room and bathroom and things um but i really really like it so i did want to show this okay and now on to autumn and winter i'm excited about these ones i've got them all up and like lined out so i can grab them all um i'll probably do them by brand possibly again rather than like autumn scent and winter scents because i just merge them all together um, so I guess first of all I will do Yankee Candle. I've got three Yankee Candle scents which I would kind of class in this section. Um, I've also got the one that's burning behind me which could be used for both. I have it out all year long. Um, 
because it's burning i'm not going to grab it and show you guys but i will do a close-up later on and kind of insert it um so i'll do the ones that i've got to hand first so this is my only problem with yankee candle candles when they're so big you get this big nasty black rim around the top of the glass and i don't like it um i think it makes the you know them look i don't know they just don't look good and they don't look nice and you don't really want to burn them anymore which is really sad because you know i do like yankee candle fragrances and um, they're just quite expensive and then you get this which is super duper annoying but aside from that i'm gonna go into the scents so this is fireside treats and um, it's super nice super sweet scent um this one and the next one that i'm gonna show you i used to burn a lot at university so these remind me of my old uni room like i've just opened that and i'm back in my old house but this one's really nice it's really sweet and um, it's cozy you can like smell the warmth in it oh it's just super nice and um i really like burning this around kind of bonfire night time so like november i know that's sad but that's what i like when i like to burn it um it just reminds me of that coziness um, and because you can kind of smell the sweetness and like the the fire in it i know that sounds really stupid um it's just a really nice one for that time of year um i actually got this in the next one on like a deal online somewhere um which is why they're so big and why i had them as a student so big um but yeah really really like this one and then the other one which again has exactly the same problem which is super annoying um is snowflake cookie as i said before i love 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 sweet scents and that's just what this one is um it just smells super sweet it smells like someone's baking but like with loads of extra sugar and i just like it it's nice and cozy um for kind of beginning of december time and i just really really like that cozy feeling that you get with it now the one that's behind me burning is cappuccino truffle i bought this at an outlet store um, and i really really like it i like anything that's coffee scented i think it's really nice it reminds me of like coziness but it also kind of wakes me up a little bit and i do really really like this one i think the reason it was an, in an outlet store is because the wick's a bit funny so sometimes the flame can go crazy high and it can like flick a load so it is one that i need to keep an eye on but i absolutely love the scent and i like that it's brown as well because it kind of goes with everything um, it's also worth me saying that with all three of these yankee candles the scent payoff is amazing when i used to burn them at university you could smell it throughout the entire like downstairs of my uni house which was really nice because i lived with boys so to kind of have a nice scent when you walked into the house was good so yeah i love the scent of them the payoff is really good i feel like now because i've burnt them quite a lot and they've got quite low it's not as good um but then because they've got the lids the scents are kept a lot better um, so I do really like them and the payoff is really really good and then the last Yankee candle that I have is a little miniature um, and this is Christmas cookie good old classic super sweet smells like baking treats um, and it's in this like smaller version oh it's just nice and as you can see I haven't burnt this um, this was a present of my friend about a year ago I think um, so I do need to get this burning I just find that because I've got such a small room I can only burn one candle at a time and I have so many that it's hard to choose um, but yeah, really, really like this little candle. I've never burnt the little ones, so I'm hoping that the scent payoff and also the burning time and like how evenly it burns and stuff are still just as good. I've then got one from the brand Neom, um, which is specifically a Christmas scent. Um, so it's Neom Organics London um, and it's the perfect peace candle. Now, I love these candles because I don't know if you can see on the pot, it's got lots of little like starry bits on it. So it's nice and shiny and um, it smells really good. I really like this because it's like a crisp Christmas um so you've got like a bit of like the foliage so the trees and stuff and it's not super cozy but it's just it's nice it's a nice clean scent I really really like it I think they're bringing this out again this year and um, in different packaging if they've already brought it out online I will link it below if not have a search around on Neon in like the next few months um, and it should definitely be out but Perfect Peace they only bring two scents out and Perfect Peace is by far my favourite I, I love it Okay, now on to Bath and Body Works. So I love Bath and Body Works. I only kind of discovered it last year when I went to Florida. Um, I only bought one candle, which was a really big mistake. Um, and then I got one for Christmas off my brother's girlfriend. Um, her parents brought it back from New York for me. And obviously I am going to be going there quite a few times when I'm in New York this year. So I'll go into the ones that I've already got. So the one that I've already got and the one that I've burnt, it's the one that I chose for myself is the pumpkin french toast um this is a three wick i really like this it's got this gorgeous like cap on i've spoken about this before in my florida haul video which i will link below um but i really really like it again the scent payoff with this is amazing 
Oh, and it just smells so good. It smells like baking, but it's not overpoweringly sweet. Um, you can smell kind of pecan in there. I don't know. It's just a nice cozy scent. I keep saying this about all my candles. They're cozy scents. But that's what I like. Um, and I love this. I was burning this so sparingly last year because I didn't think I'd be able to get some more until next year. Um, but now that I know I'm going to get some more kind of in a few weeks slash months, I'm going to get a couple more of these and I, I just love it. And this like, this lid is so pretty. Like I really like it. Um, so when I do my autumn switch over in my room next week, this is the candle that's coming out and this is going to be burning the entire day. Can't wait. And then the other one that I've got, which I'm going to include in Christmas because that's kind of the theming that it's got on it, but it's literally an all year round candle. It's a vanilla candle and it's called Vanilla Bean Noel. As I say, it doesn't need to be a Christmas one. It literally just smells like vanilla, but that's what it's themed like. And I just love this because you've got this gorgeous, I don't think it's going to focus, but you've got this gorgeous blue tin and it's got this really, really cute like reindeer on and stuff. And then on the lid, again, it's all decor. It's got um, a Christmas tree. You can see the camera there, but yeah, it's got a Christmas tree on it. And it just smells like classic vanilla. But it's such a nice vanilla scent. Oh, I love it. My, I feel like my brother's going to try to steal this off me when I finally get out because he loves scents like this. But it's just a good classic vanilla scent. Um, and again, the scent payoff, I'm sure, on this is going to be amazing. And the fact that it keeps its scent for so long, it's such a big candle. I just, oh, I love Bath & Body Works candles. I cannot wait to get some more. Okay, and now onto the ones that I've bought in TK Maxx. So I've got two on my knee and then I've got two out on the ledge like in front of me. I'm really trying not to drop this kind of tub that I've got on my knee. So I'll go in with one that I bought last year and that I have already burnt, um, which is from DW Home and it is the Holiday Spice Candle. Um, so it's got apparently 33 hours burn time. Let's see if it tells me what scents are in it. Right, so it doesn't tell me what scents are in it, um, but it's in this gorgeous kind of orangey gold tin. It's like shiny really pretty um and it's got like a lid on it oh my god it just smells like december to me it just smells so good so basically what it is is holiday spice that is what it smells like so you've got i don't know you've got like you've definitely got cinnamon in there um possibly a bit of like nutmeg like all the edgiest kind of scents um but i love this it just makes me feel so festive um and so cozy again that word but it really does it's such a nice one to light um, and apparently DW Homes are quite a popular one for um, TK Maxx because I've just realised the other one that I've got on my knee is from exactly the same brand. So yeah, and again, I don't think this cost me more than £10. I feel like this would have been a £7.99 candle, um, which I'm super impressed with. I've got quite a bit of burn time out of it already. Like, it's only gone down kind of this much. And I burnt it a lot last year. Um, and I feel like this is going to be one that I reach for again quite soon as well. Um, but yeah, super, super nice. Now the one I've got on my knee is one of my most recent purchases. It's not my most recent, but I'd say it's like my second most recent. Does that make sense? Um, anyway, I'm in the mood for pumpkin at the moment, apparently, and this is massive. So this is a massive honey pumpkin candle. It is what it says it is, honey and pumpkin. Um, but I love this because it's got such gorgeous autumn colours on it. So it's like a deep red that goes up into like a goldy colour. Um, again, it's got a lid on it. Again, it's from DW Homes and it just smells oh it just smells so good this one's got two wicks in it which i like because so many candles this size only have one wick in and they don't burn evenly and it annoys me um so i'm glad this has got two wicks in because it should burn evenly i feel like the scent payoff with these are going to be really good as well and i just love how colorful this pot is and it's just so festive and i just love pumpkin i can't wait to like this oh this and my pumpkin french toast are going to be in like stiff competition to be out first but i really like this and this candle, which is massive, and it's got 56 hours of burn time, it was only 7 99 This is so new that I've still got the price like, label on it. But yeah, 7 99 for this massive candle. You just can't go wrong. I love TK Maxx for candles, and this is one I cannot wait to burn. This one that I've got in my hands now is my most recent purchase. Um, again, from TK Maxx. And I bought this, well, I picked it up to begin with because of how it looks. And then I smelt it and loved it. Um, You'll see why, hopefully. Um, but it's in this pot. How aesthetically pleasing is this pot and the packaging and everything? It's just so, so pretty. So it's like a concrete style pot with a like copper slash rose gold lid. Um, and then it's got this detailing on here that's got the little um, like information on. So it's wrapped around this and then wrapped around the pot kind of thing. Um, and this is the sage pumpkin scented candle 
from Project Scent. Now I've never heard of them before and like I said I picked this up because of how the candle looks. I really like how this looks but then I smelt it and it was just it was so good. So again this is a two wick candle. It's grey as well which is quite unusual but nice and it just smells nice. It's not as sweet as my honey pumpkin obviously because it's not got that honey in it and the sage means that it's a little bit more savoury. Um, I feel like this is one that I'm going to be getting out towards the end of November. Um, well end of October into November, end of November into December kind of thing um, because it's got a little hint of Christmas in it which I think is from the sage. I feel like it's got a couple of other spices in there as well um, but I really really like this. It's a nice pot and I feel like once I've burnt the candle as well I'm going to use this pot for something else because it's really pretty and especially with this lid on as well like you could use that as a storage pot like it's really nice. Um, again, nice big candle. It's got a lot of weight behind it. Um, and this was 6 99 which is super good. So TK Maxx, I love you. Never stop doing candles. And then last but not least is, dare I say it, my favourite candle I have ever bought. I burnt this so, so sparingly. Um, and I, I love it. It is by far my favourite. I hate saying that because there's so many great scents out there. But it really is. Well, it's my favourite Kind of Christmas candle. It's definitely an American brand. I bought it from TK Maxx and I did find it when I was in America last year. So this is from Paddy Wax um, or Paddy Wax Candles, whichever one it is, um, and it's the Pomegranate and Spruce Three Wick Soy Wax Candle. Um, and yeah, so it's part in the USA, um, so it's definitely like a USA brand. And it's just, it's Christmas in a candle. I just, I can't, get, I haven't smelt this yet this year, so I'm going to open it and have a sniff. Oh. It's just Christmas in a candle. I can't describe how much I love this candle. Um, it's not burnt the absolute best. I don't know if you can see up here, it's got this on here. But the scent payoff is so good that I can't say no to burning it and having it as my favourite. Um, it's three wicks. It's nice and big, so it's not super high. But because it's so like wide, you get a lot of burn time out of it. And it just smells... It smells like a Christmas tree, basically. It smells like that day when you just first bring your Christmas tree in and you're letting it like drop and then that scent just fills your lounge and then you've got candles burning and then you're cooking something nice in the kitchen. That is what this candle is. I absolutely love it. I'm going to have to put the lid back on it because I don't want the scent to go anywhere. <laughs> but that's what this is. I don't normally buy candles if they're more than like the $7.99 range, which I know is a little bit silly, but I've got so many that I'd like to kind of keep to that price limit but because I love this so much I bought it anyway um so I got this for 9 99 from TK Maxx I think I found it on a couple of places online but it's a smaller version um and I do feel like I am gonna have to like order those just so that I've got this scent forever because I need it in my life forever um I I love this candle if you ever see it anywhere just smell it and if it doesn't take you to Christmas that first day when you bring your Christmas tree in or Christmas day when you can smell your Christmas tree and your Christmas dinner and then like the candle that you've got lit it's just that that is what this candle is and it's i oh i love it um, i didn't get this out last christmas because i didn't want to burn it so i'm getting it out again this christmas and i cannot wait so tk maxx if you have any more of these hidden on shelves please let me know because i need more of this candle in my life just i need all of them i could have a drawer just full of this candle and that is all of the candles that i own um i hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit different Hopefully it was nice and cosy and it kind of made you think, oh, I quite like that scent. I'm going to go have a look. I would definitely, definitely suggest going to TK Maxx um, if you haven't already to kind of have a look at the candles and just to have a smell. They always have a really good range. Um, TK Maxx always has a good range, but Home Sense always has a lot more because if you didn't know, Home Sense is like the homeware section of TK Maxx, but as an entire store. Um, so they always have more of everything. So if you, you know, do get a chance to go, do go up to the candle section give yourself plenty of time because I could easily spend like half an hour in the candle section alone um, and just have a sniff and obviously do try different scents as well. I've got a couple here that I stick to kind of every year. I've got basics like vanilla and stuff but I like kind of inserting different bits in. Um, so this year I've gone for a lot of pumpkin rather than just spice um, and I'm really happy with my collection at the moment. I've now got to try and wrestle all these back in my drawer which is going to be really fun and I'm going to leave out ones for when I do my autumn switch over next week which I'm super excited about and yeah that's all the candles that I've got and um, I will be getting more in the next kind of few months so do kind of keep tuned to my channel if you want to see what 
new candles I get, especially ones from Bath and Body Works, because I will be doing a haul based on that. Um, so yeah, and let me know if there's any candles that you think I should try um, from specific brands. Obviously, I've named quite a few brands here. Um, so if there's any that you guys love that you think I should be trying, um, either for this kind of time of year or spring and summer, I don't have many candles for spring and summer. So if you think there's more that I should be trying for then, please do let me know. Um, and yeah, that's everything for this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying the cooler weather. I know that I certainly am. And I will see you next week for another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Oh my god, who is that girl that's actually done something with her hair this week and not just left it with how it is naturally? <clears throat> and then a cough and I'm not impressed because I don't want to get cold. I'm a little bit of a candle horror. Oh. And this would be attractive as a thumbnail. Ooh, it's sliding.